Hello and welcome to my Twin Flame journey. I am Shine and this is going to be the November reading for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And be sure to check your Sun, Moon, <laughs> Let us try again. Be sure to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to get additional messages. Also keep in mind that these readings are general. So take what resonates and leave the rest. I may be describing you or the person that you're dealing with. Apply the energy as it may fit. I also do not discriminate in my readings because I deal with a lot of shadow work. So I read for the ones who have done the misdeeds and those on the receiving end of them. Um, because there's good and bad and, and, and all the signs. So again, apply it as they may fit to you. If it doesn't fit, don't try to force it to fit. If you'd like a personal reading, all the information is below. If you would like to support the channel, please hit the like button share, subscribe, also hit the notifications button to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Of course, leave comments, let me know how it resonates. Um, donations are also greatly appreciated. I've gotten one donation in the whole almost year and a half <laughs> I've been at this just for five bucks. So again, a, a donations are greatly appreciated. Um, how to do that is also below. What else? Anything else? I don't know. I can't remember. But I have decided to do a success spread. Um, I'm going to do that for all the signs to see how we can manifest some positive things, how to help heal through whatever stuff we've been going through here, especially with the Taurus full moon. It kind of reiterates what this moon is about. So the success spread, we have here the central issue, the current challenge or obstacle, the underlying or hidden factors that you need to be aware of. This represents the people or new ideas or things that can help you. And the last card represents the actions that are needed in order to improve your chances for success. So let us start with, you also got two cards that popped out. Pisces got two cards. So I don't know if you have Pisces in your chart, but maybe you want to check that reading out as well. Um, but they got two cards for the overview. You have all that glitters and the fates. So obviously this is about destiny, fates, Everything happening for a reason, learning lessons, perhaps that all that glitters isn't gold, especially if we were chasing after things that turned out to not be, what do they say, um, you can miss a diamond while you're busy picking up rocks or something, <laughs> Some, something to that effect. But again, it, it, realizing that perhaps we made some wrong choices. And again, all that glitters wasn't gold. And and perhaps understanding, again, faded events. The reason why things happen to, again, bring us to our own attention, to ourselves, situations, karmic situations, whatever it is that we're needing to learn. Um, and also knowing, too, that sometimes, you know, As much as you are running from something, that thing is, is a part of your destiny. And maybe realizing that fate is leading you full circle for some. Because again, you've learned some lessons here. Um, number 16, let's see, all the glitters. Essential meanings, a need to see beyond the superficial, the desire to... Don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature. Mm -hmm. Especially if we were one of those masculines who was wearing masks. You know, living a life of deception, even fooling ourselves. But eventually, the mask slips. Truth is revealed. And sometimes at, at a heavy cost, but again... If it causes growth and expansion, it was faded. It was meant to happen. It's all part of your journey. Trying to be something you're not. 
chasing after every sparkly new thing, being mercurial. So again, chasing after stuff. Because again, we're at the root issue. We're really trying to run from ourselves. So we're chasing after things that we think are going to be the answer or to solve all our problems. But again, no matter where we go, there we are. Um, again, wearing masks, pretending to be something that we're not, especially if we're masculines that we're in karmic situations due to codependent reasons, treating people as means to an end, pretending that we, you know, are there for all the right reasons, but really we're not. So again, maybe it's taking off that mask and, and finally getting the bigger picture. Maybe the universe is forcing it upon us, right? The Oracle's message, it's only human to want to adorn oneself in trinkets and paint a pretty picture of oneself. It's natural to want to acquire the trappings of status or to deny them as a statement of rebellion. But if it sparkles, is it better? Whether it's a fast car, a big house, a title or position, the stamp of authority or the sparkling of diamonds, these icons let you know something about a person, place or thing, or do they? The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they will symbolically will elevate them and make them more attractive. So again, it's trying to look for other things things, people, or using people, again, as means to an end or to further you along. Um, because you think, again, there's something that they got that, you, that can give you something that you lack. But again, it has to come from within. It always has to come from within. You can't seek it outside of yourself. It's temporary. It's it's false. Um, you know, going after thing or people again, using people as means to the end as as what they can do for you. Or this is you know someone you were dealing with. But this card signals that it's time to see beyond the adornments and probe underneath the surface. Learn to recognize the masks that people wear and the motives underlying them. You know what I'm saying? Imagine that all the glitter is gone. Would you still desire the object or person? And I'm going to tell you, more than likely you won't. Again, when you take those rose-colored glasses are off, and, and you and you allow people, you, you finally believe what people have been telling you who they are. You know, it's, it's recognizing, again, the mask that people wear and their motives. Or the mask that you're wearing and your motives. Why you do what you do if you're one of the ones who's treating people as means to an end. But again, coming into those realizations, obviously that that shit don't fly for long, or it's time to stop in you know entertaining that stuff, whether you're on the receiving end or the one in, in wearing masks and in pursuit of things that you think can get you somewhere. Relationship message, sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress others. We embellish a story a bit, adding some dramatic elements to make us more appealing. The real person becomes hidden behind the sparkle and shine. Then there are times when we don't see the true value of someone else because he or she may not have the glitz and glamour that seems so desirable. Now is the time to look past the surface, beyond the mask to the essence of a person, who that person is, not what he or she has or can give you is important. See beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. Use the eyes in your heart. Let go of artifice and let what is authentic shine. So again, a lot of masculines thinking the grass was greener on the other side. When pursuing things that turned out to be, again, because no matter where you go, there you are, just another karmic situation, same stuff, different person, because we were showing up the same. 
going into relationships for the wrong reasons, again, whether it was for, for to be taken care of, for money, for status, for what it is you thought you can get out of that person. Again, a means to run away from oneself, perhaps leaving someone else behind who, tr who turned out to be the true gem. You know, like I said, I don't know if you have Pisces in your chart as well, but that reading kind of hinted towards the same scenario. Realizing what we lost while we were too busy chasing things that we thought were going to be better, but didn't turn out to be better. Um, and again, realizing our own role in things and how we've lost relationships or lost people due to our own ego. Um, and for, for others who are on the receiving end of that kind of stuff, you know, it's, it's also, again, checking people's motives and intentions and, and realizing the facades that people put on, sadly. You know, there are a lot of people interacting in the world with narcissistic tendencies, again, that treat people as means to an end, who are only out for themselves and don't care about the consequences of their actions or how it affects other people as long as they think that they are winning. But in the end, though, they always lose. Because you can't win. That's a very empty existence. You know what I'm saying? Prosperity message. Sometimes an opportunity looks so good that it glitters like gold and you just can't resist it, especially when it appears others are doing so well and have hit the mother load. During the American gold rush, everyone hurried west to find their fortune and then deserted entire towns after the mining depleted the gold veins in the earth. So too can you deplete yourself as you chase after the latest shiny thing that has caught your eye. There is a mercurial quality to your present circumstances. Pay no attention to those who chase after fool's gold. Resist the temptation to be jealous of others. What they have achieved may not be the true success you seek, so don't compare yourself to them. You see only the surface right now, only the sparkle. Be assured that you will experience your own shining moment if you stick to what you know. All that glitters may not be gold for you. So it's again... Kind of saying the same thing. You know, chasing after fool's gold. Thinking that'll give you some kind of something. And then it didn't. Chasing after, you know, the latest shiny thing. I said a lot of masculines have, uh, have infidelity problems. Can't settle down to one person. They're always thinking that there'll be something better, something better. So again, they keep chasing after, but to find, from my, many of them found that they already had that something, but they fucked it up. You know what I'm saying? Protection message, this is a sign to walk away from what you're contemplating. There is a thin veneer of glitter and sparkle that masks something rotten underneath. Oof. Pursuing it will only bring about difficult situation. You would be sorry that you got yourself into. Stay away. Isn't it wonderful how spirit protects you? Better things await. So again, if you were dealing with somebody who treated you as a means to an end, and you've come into the realization again of people's motives and intentions, and that it wasn't what you thought it was going to be, you know, don't no longer fool yourself. Again, it was something that was faded, something that was meant to happen, something meant to teach you something about yourself. You know, don't, don't be fooled by false exteriors, especially when we're dealing with narcissistic types, because that's all a facade. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and the fates is next. Look at that, 16 and 17. Essential meanings, fate, karma. Acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. The Oracle's message, the serenity prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in life you will never have control over. Again, faded events, things that were written in your soul contract before you incarnated here. Signposts on your journey, events that were meant to teach you something, divinely orchestrated. You cannot change those, but it's how you react to it or what you do in the aftermath of it. 
that is your free will that leads you into whatever life that you're co-creating with the universe, right? Um, the conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective by nature and by your past experiences may be fated, preordained by spirit for a greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with what those events in your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer. So again, a lot of people learning lessons here, as usual. Relationship message. Other people are who they are. You can't change them. The challenge is to accept them as they are and do not try to make them otherwise to suit you. This is a time to look at how you attempt to mold people to fit your view of how they should be so you can remain in the relationship and avoid discomfort. Now this again on either side of the coin. If you're one of these people, you know, who was on the codependent end, trying to heal, trying to change, trying to wish, hope, and dream, are you dealing with narcissistic types of these people or whatever, you can't change them. People have to change themselves. People are who they are. And you have to, it's, it's you're the one who has to change how you are in that situation. You either leave it all together, especially if you're dealing with narcissists, Leave it all together. Do better next time around. Um, or if you have to deal with them, you still have to change how, how you show up. You know, if you have children with these types. Um, but again, but if you're on the other end, who's, you know, the trying to be on the masculine side, the, the shadow aspect, trying to be controlling, domineering, again, in order to protect yourself, trying to mold other people to play along in enabling you in your karma. You're not stepping up to the plate for yourself. Again, looking for doormats or people that you can take advantage of um, because you're trying to avoid the discomfort of change within you. Again, not wanting to look in the mirror, not wanting to, whatever. So it's like it's either side of the coin here. Um, it's about, again, taking a look at yourself and other people and, and getting to the truth of the matter, again, of the energy that we bring and the energy that we allow. What if who they are and whatever is happening between you and them in this situation is perfect from the perspective of spirit, especially if it's karmic, because again, it's happening for a reason. And it will continue to happen until you learn the lesson, right? Now is the time to accept what you cannot change, even if it means that you honor yourself, spirit, and the other person by moving on. Love unconditionally for each of us is in our own journey, and we cannot direct that of another. Be aware that this relationship is indeed fated and you are meant to evolve into a better person, a better version, I'm sorry, of yourself as a result of it. So again, it's, it's everything happens for a reason. Um, prosperity message. Your experiences concerning prosperity and abundance are beyond your personal control right now. You are being invited to accept what is unreservedly. This could be a temporary situation seemingly thrust upon you by outside forces. But there is an underlying purpose you can't see that has been determined by the fates. So again, a lot of things that are ending are ending because they're meant to. And if you haven't ended it, the universe is coming in and, and putting an end to it. It's making you get moving into the next phase, getting you to get those aha moments, getting you to realize the truth again about how we show up and how we allow others to show up. What is it that we need to change? What is it that we need to let go of? What cycles do we need to let end so that we can again move into our best version of ourselves and to our destiny, right? It could be a situation you are unprepared for. And you may not understand how it will benefit you in the moment. So again, it may seem like a tower moment. Everything is crumbling, but it's crumbling for a reason, right? Do not fight the situation. Ride it out and see where it leads. Surrender to it. And the serenity you need to make good choices from here on out will be given to you. You will indeed flourish. So obviously, if anything was built on lies and bullshit, 
if it was karmic, the tower's coming down. And it's coming down perhaps because you, you haven't done it yourself, so the universe is intervening, or you're finally realizing it needs to come down. You're finally realizing you've got epiphanies going on for yourself there, of what needs to go within you, changing and, and kind of being fearful of the unknown, but knowing that whatever it is, it's, it's time, right? Protection message. It is difficult to understand why painful things happen to good people. Fate is a mystery after all, yet what we do with our circumstances, the way in which we respond to life challenges, is how we rise up to greet our destiny. Now is one of those times to be aware of your powerlessness to change certain situations and surrender to acceptance. Hang in there. Life will only get better. Act as if you believe that. But the only thing that you can control right now is your attitude. When you align with the fates, being mindful of what you can and cannot change, serenity will come to you. So again, it's all about realization, acceptance, release, progression. Right? At the bottom of the deck here, we have the Nine of Wands. So this is feeling on edge, defensive, hesitant, paranoid, fearful. Fearful of change, fearful of the unknown, fearful of stepping up, fearful of, you know, hesitant to make long-term commitments, um, overcome feeling overcome with responsibilities, especially if something's hit you out of nowhere and now you're having to scramble or uncertain about, you know, what you're doing, where you're going. It can feel overwhelming. Um, but they're saying, understand that there is a reason behind this. And again, if we've been procrastinating, not not doing, ripping that Band-Aid off, the universe comes in and does it because they say it's time. Um, feeling a lack of support, you know, lacking resources, again, financial skills, time in order to deal with the challenge. So again, a lot of people might not feel that they're so prepared for this. But again, have you, how have you been showing up? If you've been slacking, if you've been one of the masculines who's been in a codependent situation and not stepping up to the plate for yourself, you know, just being moochy or whatever, when that tower hits, you're going to feel it even more because you haven't prepared for it financially. Perhaps you've been having somebody else taking care of everything. But again, that's when the universe says enough. That's got to go. You know, get 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 it, get the aha moment. What's 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 going on here with you? Um, fear of commitment or responsibility. You know, fearing it might be too much. So again, change is scary. That's why a lot of masculines again were running from relationship to relationship, looking to get taken care of, because they didn't want to be responsible for themselves. You know, but you can't coast. Especially if you're a twin flame and you're, and you're here to, to do something. You know, there is free will, but the universe will try to, you know, blast you out the water to get you to wake up. Um, feeling again on edge. Perhaps needing to defend yourself a lot. Locked in the old habits of behaviors. Dwelling on the past. Um, feeling frustrated, you know, a need to let go of that. Because they say here, ride, ride the wave, right? Even though it's feeling a little disgruntled right now. Um, and we're needing to unlock ourselves from old habits and behaviors. Because obviously they, they have not served us, right? Um, don't make assumptions or hasty judgments. Again, going with the flow to release pressures. You know, fearful. It's also recommended sometimes if you might need to start going to counseling, deal with your, your, your stuff. Now we have here, the central issue is the Four of Swords. So Four of Swords, again, is healing from the Three of Swords. Three of Swords, again, is, you know, could have been third-party situations, heartbreak, um, but it's a lot of mental anguish 
the Four of Swords here says there's a key issue that's dominating your life at this time. A period of rest and recovery after a time of challenge with promise that once recovered, you can and will return to it. So it's kind of getting your wits about you and knowing that whatever you're going through right now, you will recover from it. But this might be a, a big change within you. Again, that light bulb moment of, again, how, how did we get here? Um, build. I need to build up your mental strength. You know, meditate. Spend time in spiritual thinking. So again, the face, the bigger picture, you know, why things happen. You know, your soul's path, karma. Again, reaping what we sow, lessons. It's kind of taking all that in, um, meditating on it. Time of contemplation, use the rest time wisely. I need to heal the body and ready the mind because there's going to be some action that's going to be required of you. Put down your defenses. Nine of Wands in the upright is the person who is defensive. So maybe it's, a, again, a need to put down our defensives because that might have been our defense mechanism. Childhood wounding. What did love look like to me? How have I showed up for myself in life? How have I showed up in relationships with others? You know, and if you're coming from a wounded place, whatever defense mechanisms that you have developed in order to deal with self-esteem issues, pain, rejection, loneliness, again, warped views of love, whatever it is, those things need to be meditated on and released and understand that, again, eventually we, we have to come to an understanding that we can't keep running from ourselves. We can't keep pursuing things as an escape you know, unless we find ourselves again in situations where that mirror is going to be held up to us time and again to get us to see why things keep happening the way that they do. Especially if it seems like it's the same thing over and over. That's not bad luck. That's not what, that's you. That's the universe trying to have you call attention to yourself. Um, that's why it keeps being presented to you. So again, gaining spiritual understanding, meditating on all of that. Um, and if you've been stressing and worrying, you know, try to, as they say, you know, deal with it as best you can and know that it's, it's for a reason, whatever you're going through. Current challenger obstacles, the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So again, this could either be you or the person you're dealing with. And again, male, female, doesn't matter. Um, you know, Queen of Wands in the upright is somebody who's a leader, who goes after what they want. Um, not in a ruthless manner, but follows their passions, is confident, you know, in themselves. Also in touch, you know, with, with their spiritual realm here, with the little kitty. Um, so they're very in tuned with the higher meaning behind stuff. But in the reverse, it's somebody who can be aggressive, demanding. It's also a shrinking violet. So this is a feeling low self-esteem, right? Perhaps because we're getting hit with something here that's bringing that wounding up. That again, we can't run from ourselves. No one outside of us, no person, no place, no thing is going to give us what we think it's going to give us. Whatever wounding that we're trying to pacify. And a lot of it comes from, again, self-worth, self-value. And if you don't value yourself, you don't really value other people. They're just means to an end. 
something to try to make you feel better about you. Again, if you're one of those masculines who is behaving in your shadow aspect, right? Somebody who can, again, be manipulative, pushy, selfish, angry, resentful, jealous even. Jealous of what other people have. So you go and chase after something as a means to one up or to feel like you got it too. But it's it's directed in 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 a in, in a wrong manner. Um, perceptions are skewed. Info twisted into lies. Demanding, petty, controlling, narrow-minded. Lost confidence in oneself. Shying away from the limelight, which is basically you not stepping into your fullest potential because you don't feel worthy of it. Deep down, again, it's a self-esteem issue for many with this childhood wounding because you didn't get the love or the attention or whatever that you should have gotten from your primary caregivers, from society, from peers, what have you. However, it's usually it's a combination of all of it. Um fall from grace and now slightly embarrassed about your reputation. Like I said, if you're a masculine who's, you know, fucked people over and you've done it multiple times and you're kind of coming into the reality again of what you've been doing, there might be again a, a that mask is coming off and you're worried about, again, how you're going to be perceived by people, especially if you're going to try to come back around or, you know, it's it's kind of like, I would say feeling embarrassed, but, it, you know, that you were wrong. But, but you know, not, not needing to look at it from that way, obviously. Because if anybody who's willing to self-reflect and hold themselves accountable and be honest about their own behaviors and, and be honest to the person that they've hurt or whatever, you know, don't view it as being embarrassed. It's, it's growth, you know, regardless of the outcome, it's growth for you, right? Um, a need to restore faith and belief in yourself. So, again, whether you are on the receiving end of a bunch of crap from somebody and you're trying to heal from that and you have low self-esteem as a result of that, again, realizing people's intentions and motives, the mass is coming off, you know, understanding whatever. Or again, if you were the one wearing the mask, doing the do, treating people that way. This is, again, an awareness coming in, whatever side of the coin that you, you fit on here. And if this is also a challenge, so again, this is either an aspect of yourself or the person that you were dealing with, right? Especially if somebody, manipulation, you know, someone who's selfish, you know, lies and all this stuff. Again, the mask coming off, realizing people's intentions um, or someone that you're wanting to make things right with could also be angry at you or, you know, is, is, has some resentments towards your behavior or treatment of them. So again, this could be you or the person you're dealing with as the challenge to have this turn upright. Underlying hidden factors that you need to be aware of. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is talking about, you know, putting in the work, paying attention to the details, you know, 
focusing in your energy on something with determination. So if, if you've been slacking in your life up until this point, not showing up for yourself, we're needing to start doing that. We're needing to start putting in the work and the effort again into ourselves first and foremost, right? Into mending relationships, into our careers, into our healing, or all of the above, right? Um, focusing all of one's energy on something determination and about to experience a change or a new beginning in work, education, or finance. So if something is on the horizon, you know, that we've been putting our work and effort into, perhaps that's going to pay off for us. Um, determined to master a new skill, diligence, again, hard work, applying oneself, perseverance, and initiative. Being able to persevere through whatever you're going through, um, taking initiative again in your own life into manifesting no more coasting no more allowing bullshit no more dishing out bullshit it's like it's time to put in the work right encouragement to forge ahead success through perseverance and initiative as opposed to luck and generosity of others so again not looking for someone else or something else to give us what we need to give ourselves. And as I said, you know, it's not going to come from outside. Working on the finer details or aspects to improve your situation. Unhappy with the current state, knowing that you need to make changes. Having dedication, focus, and patience. Working on yourself, again, to become the best you you can be. Furthering education, study, to hone skills. Um, don't lose sight of the bigger picture, what you're working towards. And again, we should always be working on ourselves first and foremost. Because as within, so without. When things are right within us, when things are balanced, when we're caring about ourselves, it flows outward. We'll start attracting better situations right then we have here what represents the people new ideas and things that can help you we got the eight of wands so this is again could be travel communication fast communication for unexpected travel movement um struggles of the seven of wands is clear and you have the freedom to move forward Movement that propels you forward to reach your goals, enthusiasm, energy, focus. That's a number eight. So we need to channel through, uh, channels through with raw energy, right? So it's, it's these two cards together. It's really about focus, putting in the work, making moves, um, Overcoming whatever challenges that you might be going through, you know, persevering through it, applying yourself, learning from mistakes, trying to make things right within yourself, with others, if that's what you're trying to do, gaining spiritual perspective again on why things happen, taking hard looks at ourselves, again, the energy we bring and the energy that we allow. Realizing again, all that glitters is in gold. Realizing that we can't run from ourselves. Realizing that it, it begins within and we're needing to take action and put focus again on treating ourselves better. You know, not having a self-defeatist attitude, not having a victim mentality, not coasting, not using, not allowing ourselves to be used, whatever it is, it's about building up that self-esteem loving yourself enough to want to become better, to want to put in the work and effort, to want to be determined to have not fool's gold, but real gold, you know? Um, again, enthusiasm, energy, and focus here. 
accomplish a lot in a short time. Maybe we're looking to do that, but again, Rome wasn't built in a day. Wanting to strike while the iron's hot, encouragement to move quickly. Air travel for some, again, um, but it might be short term. It says here, whirlwind trip, business, holiday, or it might be permanent. Depends, I guess. It depends on what, what, you're, what you're looking to do here. Um, the downside, again, is haste, rapid advancement, which may result in the wrong decision being made. Be mindful not to rush into things without a clear plan of where you're heading. Again, pay attention to the details. Make a plan that, you know, you got to have a plan A and a plan B. No more flying off the seat of our pants, doing things on a whim, not thinking about the consequences. And maybe this was a lesson that we need to learn before. So... As long as we're, our intentions are good, as long as we're putting in the work and effort, you know, for some, again, it might be trying to communicate with somebody, trying to make things right with somebody, might be traveling or moving, you know, to be closer towards someone or just because our current situation is ending. Um, but we're still needing to be, be wise in our approach from here on out, be different than how we were before. And then lastly here we have represents the actions needed to improve your chances for success. We have the judgment, but in the reverse. So this talks about self-doubts, refusal of self-examination. So again, we're needing to build up our self-esteem. We're needing to not to ref we're needing to not refuse to look at ourselves and how again we've played a role in our own lives and the result of that. Um, and this is also speaks about guilt. So again, some people might feel bad for behaving in some way. Again, or maybe somebody's looking to make something right with somebody. You know, if the Queen of Wands is again male, female doesn't matter. Is is the person that you're dealing with, um, or it's an aspect of the self again, or it could be both. Obviously, if someone's not happy with us, you know, it could have been due to our lies and stuff. So, again, this card could be representing both situations. Um, indulging yourself in self-doubt and self-judgment. Again, needing to get out of your own way, be present. Your deliberation causing you to miss new opportunities that await a momentum that has been accumulated that could propel you further. Um, moving, toward, moving onwards with pride and confidence or opportunities could be missed. So again, you got to believe in yourself, right? See it, believe it, achieve it. Not allowing enough time to get to the heart of the matter and learn from our mistakes. So again, if we're just looking to jump from situation to situation without addressing what needs to be addressed first, we're needing to pay attention to the details again and not repeat stuff. Take that time to self-reflect on our behavior so that again, we show up differently um, you have no control of, over the event, just your reaction to it. Again, the fates, tower moments, unhappiness or difficulties, isolation, consequences of past actions to learn valuable lessons, fear of important decisions. As we have here, fear, fear of, you know, you know, how others are going to perceive us, fear of admitting that we're wrong, fear of um, dealing with, again, the consequences, making decisions, unable, unwilling to accept change, so stagnation instead of growth, reluctant to let go, including let go of our pride, let go of toxic situations, ways of being, self-sabotory behaviors, again, refusing to look within, Refusing to accept accountability. Again, nothing will ever change until we, again, recognize our own bullshit. And that includes bullshit of other people, too. Um, so we're needing to not fear that. We need to not fear letting go of what needs to be let go of. We need to not fear and be unwilling to accept change. Stop staying in comfort zones because nothing ever grows there. 
Stop fearing moving towards becoming a new and improved version of yourself because again, we're lacking that self-esteem. It's, it's the lie that you've been telling yourself your whole life due to your conditioning, your wounding or whatever it is. It's time to start believing in ourselves. It's time to start putting in the effort again into ourselves and to our betterment. Time to again, look in the mirror, self-reflect and make changes accordingly. Right? What advice do you have for cancer? In November, crown chakra. Pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. What other advice do you have for cancer? God box. Write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called the God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. Other advice to have for cancer. Integrity. Align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. And integrity means doing the right thing for the right reasons. Doing right by yourself and by others. Being a person of integrity. Right? Solar plexus chakra, it is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. Again, become the leader you were meant to be for yourself. Be your own hero. You know, again, it has to start from within. You know, take, take control of your life. Put in the work and effort into yourself. And heal away addictions. It's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. So again, that devil energy, being addicted to our own self-sabotory behaviors, our own negative ways of being, whatever, however it falls for you. You know, it's time to, even addicted to stinking thinking, negative self-talk, or, or again, toxic situations, or, or things that are, aren't, aren't good for us or good for others. It's, it's just get out of that cycle, right? What other advice do you have for cancer in November? Compromise. So this is about coming, coming, finding a truce, a win-win for everybody, right? Not compromising your self-respect, your values, your your integrity, your standards, but again, coming to a truce, coming to a a, a peace treaty, if this is what you're seeking. With someone or compromise that ego so that you can get out of your own way right what other advice do you have for cancer yeah let go let go of all that shites let go of the things that aren't serving you let go and let God right? God box in regards to love what advice do you have for cancer Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Other advice do you have for cancer? Other advice do you have for cancer? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Again, childhood wounding. That's why we're all jacked up. <laughs> because our parents were jacked up. Again, stop that family karma. Stop that cycle. You know, it's by healing yourself, you heal this family karma. And, and if you, you try to, as you seek forgiveness, we also have to forgive the parents for, again, making you all screwed up. <laughs> but it's also healing family issues, like if there's someone that you consider family um, or that you're wanting to have a family with, right? What other advice do you have for cancer? Other advice to have for cancer. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So again, a lot of masculines, the reason why they behaved the way they did was because they didn't receive love. You know, but a lot of feminines, and feminines too. 
So again, but how each one developed their defense mechanisms was different. So that's why you have the one that was too much of the giver, one that was too much of the taker. Both different sides of the same coin, stemming from a lot of similar childhood wounding. But it's time to, again, release that fear so that we can, again, be a person of integrity so we can stop being authentic in our own lives and how, again, we, we show up for others and not fearing the real. No more, no more wearing masks. Brother Vice, you have the cancer. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Especially if we're talking about worrying about how other people are going to perceive us when we come and we take off the mask and reveal the truth and, and all of this stuff. That's showing that you're, you're, you're making an effort to changing, to growing. You're showing that you're loving yourself by, again, being honest with ourselves, right? And able to be honest with others. That, that makes you more attractive, much more attractive than, than a liar. Um, but again, if we're dealing with if we were on the receiving end of, of being hurt and all of this stuff, again, they're trying to encourage you to take an honest look at things, or again, our own roles in stuff. Find a way to resolve whatever's happened. You know, love yourself first. Make the effort towards real love or true love if that's what you're seeking or just make the effort in your own life you know love yourself it's safe for you to love yourself do your own healing make the effort right and what reality check does cancer need in november what reality check does cancer need in november don't waste your time. Make the effort. Don't don't lally gag. Don't waste time doing nothing for yourself here. You can do better. Keep it moving. You can do better. Keep moving forward. You know, keep pursuing better for yourself. What other reality check does cancer need? See it, believe it, achieve it. Whatever you focus on increases. So if you focus on the negative, that will be a reality. If you focus on your betterment, the same applies. So if you want better, be better. As within, so without. With positive intentions, thoughts, effort, and consistency, anything is possible. You can do it. So I talked about here. Putting in the effort. Right? And what other reality check does cancer need in November? When people show you who they are, believe them. The fantasy versus the reality. Remember? All the glitters. Wishing, hoping, waiting on, or thinking you can change someone isn't going to change who they really are. This includes, you know, ourselves. You have to put in the work for yourself, right? Living in a fantasy world instead of dealing with reality. Sitting there wishing, hoping, and waiting you know, for things to change, but you need to be the one to initiate that, right? Or again, if you're dealing with people that are fake and phony and, and whatever, you know, it, again, it's time to know that all that glitters isn't gold, fantasy versus reality. When people show, show you who they are, believe them. You know what I'm saying? Any more? Do we have another? One more for cancer. One more for cancer. Liar, liar, pants on fire. They're full of shit. Don't believe them. Someone's full of it. Either it's you or them. So again, when people show you who they are, believe them. Either you're dealing with somebody who's a liar and a manipulator. Like I said with this in the reverse here. 
And again, coming into that realization, or this is realizing again that this is how we've been. And 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 you know, people it's gonna be hard for people to believe in us when we've showed showed them that we're can't be trusted. You know, so it's again. Oy. And on that note, I send you love and light. I wish you healing and luck in regards to this and anything else you might be going through. Again, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. And until next time, Cancer, good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.